what's going on boys and girls it's me your boy brogan today's video is going to be a bit of a different one i'm going to try and show you guys how to set up a minecraft server in the easiest possible way that i can okay let's uh let's get into it so what you're going to do first is go to ngrok just type in ngrok on google and it'll it'll be the first one but i'll be putting all the links and all that sort of stuff in the description so you're, you're going to go sign up make an account all that good good stuff then download for windows or whatever thing you have and then you're going to have a folder like this and just ext extract it as you would and then you have ngrok.exe okay and then you have this which looks crazy i know that you're gonna go back over to your internet and see this part where it says connect your account you're gonna have your own auth token here so you're just gonna copy this complete and then just paste it into there okay and that's your auth token saved okay allow that we've done that part let's go to part two so part two is going and downloading curse forge or overwolf whatever it's called again i'll be leaving the downloads in the description so you're going to download this wait for it to do all its good stuff install it and then it's going to pop up with it'll probably look like this for you and then it'll say all your games that you have click on minecraft and then browse the mod packs that you want to make your server on. Okay, so now that you've got your Curse Forge all squared away and installed, you're gonna to wanna to come over here and download the server pack. Click on that and it'll take you to the page and it'll start downloading for you. Uh, it may take a while because they're usually quite big, but I'll, I'll show you when we get there. Okay, and once you're serve pack has downloaded we'll just extract it to desktop as usual and this may take a while may not depending on your pc i guess okay now that it's complete let's open the server pack and let's see what we got in here okay so as you can see there's loads of random stuff and you're like oh god what is this first thing we're going to go into is the eula and in here I'm going to type this to true and then save that's it okay then we're going to need to change the server back in here is going to be how much gigage that's a real thing gigas you're going to be using for your server so you can change the um the numbers here normally i put it to like nine gigs or whatever if you're gonna depending on how many people you're gonna have playing but up to six five to six probably will be a decent gigabytes so you just change this two or i think it's this four you change it to six there you go or just put six six and then save that as it is and then you run this but first, let's start in Grok. Okay, so here, we're going to type in TCP, uh, sorry. So in here, we're going to type in ngrok space TCP 25565. My recording stop because that's my num <laughs> That's my button to stop recording. Anyway, 25565. In the old version, you used to have to put EU in your area, but we don't need to do that anymore. Type that in, press enter, and there you go. This is your forwarding thing. All you need is from this five up to the end of the number. Let me do it here. So all you need is from the five to the end of the number. You copy this. And now you can go back into your thing. Okay, so from this point, you can start your server using the launch server.bat. 
and then it'll open up. For me, it won't because I'm um, my Java's updated to the newest version, so I can only start playing higher versions of Minecraft. For me, it'll just come up with an error that I've not got all this. That's fine. If it also comes up with you with that, you can just open it up in the um, the Minecraft server thing that it comes with. It's not as much uh, gigabytes and all that sort of stuff, but still, it's playable. So now, how do you actually join your own server? I'll show you next. Okay, now that we have Minecraft starting up, which is going to probably take a while, but you're going to make you go. You want to make sure that when you start your Minecraft stuff, that you make your RAM the correct amount for what the the mod pack is, because usually if you get to this part, it will just crash on you all the time. So make sure you have the correct RAM. That's a little tip. Okay, Editor Dennis here. Like, I forgot to, comp like, I, I said make sure that you have better RAM, but I didn't even show you how to do that. So you go into your um, mod pack, three buttons here. For you guys, it will probably be here, and then allow uh, content management. That's if you want to add some more mods and all that sort of stuff. So allow, and then you can, add, you can add more mods, whatever your sort of stuff. But for us, what we want to use is this system memory. Tick that off. Go up to how many you want to use. I use seven usually done and then that's how you do it anyway back back in okay so now that your mod pack has loaded we're gonna go into multiplayer and then you can add your server the server address is gonna be this the one I told you to do last earlier the five and all the way to the end of your number okay take that copy put it into here done as you can see have a server one thing to note is that whenever you stop your server this number is going to change just this just, just this bit so every time you're going to start a new server for your per, your friend to join or whatever make sure that they have this code as well every time but that's how you you connect to your own server locally and they join onto your computer if you go into it it should just be a normal server as you can see the server's doing all its stuff in the background. There you go. Simple, easy, and it takes two programs. So yeah, enjoy. And um, let me know in the comments any other type of um, stuff that you want to know. Like if you want to know how to make some sort of this or that or that, uh, let me know in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and uh, bye.